Hello, welcome aboard. Hi guys, my name is Rhonda and I will be your flight attendant for today. And we are going to be discussing six easy steps that you can take to make your journey a lot easier and safer during this pandemic. Step one, if you're traveling domestically within the US, make sure you do some research. Research, research, research. I can't stress that enough, especially within this time. And if you're here, you're doing the right thing. Research the state's website that you're planning on going to and also check out their safety procedures for COVID-19 because I know that some states are requiring travelers that are coming into the state to quarantine for about 14 days. So make sure that you stay on top of that and you know where you're going and what to expect. And as you do your research, bear in mind that restrictions and conditions are changing rapidly as we go through this pandemic. So make sure that as you get closer to your travel date, that you go back to that state website and refresh yourself to get a more accurate information. Step two would be to consider testing. So as you travel, you don't want to be passing on the virus if you have it. I mean, we're gonna hope that you don't, but you also want to be sure that you are not passing the virus on to others because according to healthcare experts, asymptomatic patients can run along and be looking well, feeling good, and passing the virus along. So you want to make sure that you're testing yourself so that you're not putting other passengers at risk. Step three, this is what I like to call the fun part. If you can, I'll tell you this is the secret. Book an early flight. As in, book your flight early so that you get the best rates and book an early flight because it's mostly usually empty. My preference when I fly, I like to fly early mornings. I know it's very difficult, but this is why you do it. Not a lot of people like to fly at that time of the morning. And when you get to the airport, it's not packed at all. TSA, it's open and so is the airplane because a lot of people don't want to be up that early. So when you book an early flight, you are able to skip the long TSA lines and you're also able to skip the line if you have a check bag. There will be no line because not a lot of people travel during that time and the airports are not super crowded. So when you get to the airplane, you have enough space to social distance. This is not a guarantee, but from my experience as a working flight attendant and I travel for a living, this is something that I have noticed over the years. When you get to the plane, by the time you get there, you do not want to talk to anyone because you've deprived yourself of sleep the night before, but it's worth it. You will have a very quiet, quick, and simple flight. And the time frame I'm talking about is usually from four to six in the morning. At seven o'clock, eight o'clock, everybody's up and everybody's trying to go somewhere. So look for flights that are leaving your state from four, anywhere from four o'clock to six o'clock in the morning. This is of course not guaranteed because I don't own the airlines and I do not own <laughs> the seats. Step four, avoid packing unnecessary things. This is going to save you a lot of time when you get to the airport. And during the time of coronavirus, you do not want to have too much interactions with people. Packing, a secret to packing uh, to get through TSA, put your liquids together and make sure like usually a lot of luggages have the little packet on the side just make sure that you keep it on that top side so when you get to the tsa checkpoint if your bag gets pulled and it's checked and a tsa agent is going through it that they can see your liquid right on top so they don't have to dig all the way into your bag to find those things and if you have a laptop make sure that those are visible don't put it in the bottom of your suitcase the same thing goes for your phone do not put it in the jungle of your purse. Keep those things handy. When you get to the TSA, make sure if you're wearing a belt, that your belt is off. If you have a shoes and the strings are tied, untie them so that when you get to the TSA agent, your shoes is ready to go. You want this interaction to be quick. You want it to be in and out. 
if you're traveling and you're not going to be long, make sure that you minimize travel with the approved sizes that TSA recommends. I will leave the link down below to the TSA website that you can go and do the research for yourself uh, because I don't wanna make this video super long. It's already getting longer than it needs to be. And step number five, guys, be on time. <laughs> Be on time, just be on time. Be on time and be prepared. Make sure that you have all of your paperwork, you're checked in on time, if you're checking a bag, your bag is checked on time, and you're in the TSA line on time, and you're at your gate on time. You do not wanna miss your flight. Because if you do miss your flight, then you have to interact with the gate agent and other people are coming in, and it's just a lot of craziness. And it, you're trying to stay safe you want to be on time and you want to make your flight the last bonus tip that I have for this video will be use the bathroom before you get on the plane especially if your flight is not that long if you're doing a one hour two to three hour flight make sure you use the bathroom before you get on the plane so that way you can just sit in your seat. You don't have too much movement. You don't have too much interactions with too many people because the goal is to limit your interaction with people even though you're on an airplane. If you have to go to the bathroom, guys, please make sure that the seatbelt sign is off. Your flight attendants will love you for this. They will appreciate you. I promise you, they do not want to have to have that conversation with you. Do it because it's the right thing to do and it's the law. And also, it limits your interactions with the flight attendants on the plane because they're not allowed to tell you, oh, you should go to the bathroom when the seatbelt sign is on. So that's just something good to know that when the seatbelt sign is off, that is your opportunity to go and use the bathroom. Um, so I hope these tips were really, really helpful. They've been really helpful to the people in my life that have been traveling. So I thought that it was a good idea to share with you and I hope you enjoy it. I understand that it's a very trying time for everybody and the CDC is recommending that we all be responsible and limit our travel if we don't have to but if you do have to travel those were some tips that I shared with my family and I thought that it would be helpful to you too so if you have any questions or would like me to elaborate more on something that I said in this video or you would like to hear more about other things or questions you have make sure you comment down below I will read and respond to you and I will discuss any questions you have so thank you yeah that's it guys thank you so much for stopping by today and ladies and gentlemen i've been your humble flight attendant rhonda and i hope you have an awesome journey bye bye enjoy your trip <laughs>